Hello everybody, Caden here today with an episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, and today we are back on the world to, well, <laughs> I feel I was criminal for saying this because, well, I don't know, people I feel like are probably sick and tired of this build by this point, but we're back today to start working on the Brachiosaurus rebuild part, I don't know, 28? Wait, is that one past the fence? How did it escape? What? Apparently this exhibit is not as secure as I thought it was. Um, well, that's, that's somewhat shocking. Anyway, today we are starting the rebuild of the Brachiosaurus. Now, I know technically we're supposed to be doing the Cretaceous Dinosaur rebuilds, and that includes the Therizinosaurus, which I believe is the only one I haven't moved yet, uh, if I'm correct. I think I am. And like I said last episode, I just don't really have any ideas for it yet, and I don't really know where I want to throw it um, in the park, because I've kind of realized we don't have that many Cretaceous Dinosaurs left. Uh, mostly because, I mean, okay, we, we have all the Raptor House stuff, right so we have all those and then we have Parasaurolophus but after that I believe all we have to put in the park is the uh well the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus and I don't really want to do either of those exhibits very soon because one I want the perfect area for them and two I really want to make those exhibits just absolutely amazing and special for you guys, so they're not happening soon because of that. Uh, they're happening sooner, hopefully, than you think. When I say that, I mean, like, within the next hundred episodes, we'll have them. It's just, I, I want to really make sure I get around to, like, making a fantastic build. So anyway, since I don't think I've got a uh, good idea for the Therizinosaurus, um, or really any other exhibit right now, I figured why not come back to the exhibit I've really want to be I have really wanted to rebuild for the past little while and that is the Brachiosaurus because well I've had a lot of ideas and taken a lot of inspiration both from uh, pictures of elephant and giraffe exhibits I've seen actual giraffe and elephant exhibits I've visited in zoos and of course the Asian elephant exhibit we made in the wildlife park series which if you haven't checked out the wildlife park series is where I build a zoo in Minecraft with, with like actual normal animals instead of dinosaurs. So yeah, um, if you want an idea of what I'm kind of going to be doing with this exhibit, uh, go check those videos out. Um, but yeah, I want to do something like that. I have a lot of ideas. It's This build is dramatically going to change. We're going to get rid of this long, this super long straight pathway. This is going to go. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we moved the ankylosaurs, because technically they would have been fine here, but I want to kind of incorporate part of this whoops, into that, and there's just a bunch of changes that are going to happen over here, so hopefully it all turns out good. So I'm going to get started on all this, and I'll bring you guys back in when I've made a bit of progress. Alright everybody, so I started working, and may or may not have realized I hadn't completely ironed out all the ideas, because I think when I started working on this, I... I don't know, there was something wrong with the idea I had, and now I'm kind of like halfway through this, and, well, halfway through the planning stage, and kind of going like, hmm, may not have thought this one out completely. But I have some general ideas here. First off, um, kind of forgot the entire exhibit's a rectangle. <laughs> like, may have completely forgotten that thing. So. I'm gonna try and figure out a way to make the shape of the exhibit a bit more interesting. Kind of like the Triceratops, we kind of expanded that to uh, be a bit less rectangly so that it was a bit more interesting to look at. But anyway, um, one thing that's I think gonna go about here, because I think this is close to the center of the exhibit, um, I want to do that, the, uh, what is it, the tower we kept talking about. I really want to do that because I think that'll be interesting. Um, I want to redo the water. I want to redo the paths, and I want to redo other stuff. I, I know, there's such a long list of stuff, and I haven't even really started all of it. Um, partly because I'm realizing this is going to be a lot more tearing down than I thought. I've already had to remove about half the trees in the exhibit. Uh, just because, well, I, I needed to kind of get them out of the way so I could, could see the exhibit a bit better. Um, so one thing I'm thinking of doing, at least right now, is back there, we... Well, I guess I can just walk over there now. Um, 
over here we have this kind of beginnings of a waterfall system that we, we started way back with Diplodocus exhibit. Um, and I'm kind of thinking we should try and link this up to that terrain to a degree, because um, obviously our Diplodocus exhibit doesn't have a fence here. It just connects up to the river and that's that. And I'm kind of thinking we should try and do the same thing here. I, I think that might look a bit more interesting and it could lead to some more interesting path designs um, in the future, which is always a good thing in my opinion. Um, so I think I'm gonna try and do that. I'm kind of working on over here. I'm not really sure on one aspect of what I want to do here, and that is, I think it's a fairly interesting thing, and that is, how do I want to do the terrain in here now? Because part of me wants to go very much with what we did in the Asian Elephant exhibit and the Wildlife Park series, and that is, raise the ground level to the point where the animals are actually about, like, uh, much taller than the path is. I mean, I know they already, like, the heads are of the brachiosaur already get to, like, there above the path. Speaking of which, I did put them all in a chest with uh, some safari nets. But I'm kind of considering just kind of continuing the water to a point, maybe, like, here, even. Oh, that might... I don't know. Let's see. Like, bringing the waterway out to somewhere like here, and then building a rock a rock face and then we kind of continue the path on along here maybe put another pond around here somewhere uh, we got to rework this whole path to kind of get a new curvature with it going and all sorts basically lots of messy rebuilds i kind of needed to spend a bit more time on but uh, i think i've got some solid ideas now so i'm gonna get back to working on them and kind of trying and probably using a bit more wool cobblestone stone whatever get a more solid idea of what's going where, and I'll bring you guys back when hopefully I've made more progress than I made between the last clip and this one, and maybe even started getting some building done. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, everyone, here we are, and I actually did make some building progress since the last clip. I removed more trees, but ta-da! There is a new uh, angle in the pathway. Um. It kind of it kind of connects up a bit funny over here. Um, personally, at least I think it does. Uh, that's gonna change. I'm gonna kind of bring the rock wall I've started over here, and we'll look at that more in a second, and bring that more over here so it kind of makes a bit more sense. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I kind of just made the angle a bit too long, and then just didn't have enough space. But whatever, it looks fine. It looks fine. I think. But yeah, I've I've been man. I've been doing a lot of work. I did, however, remember about few minutes before starting this clip that, hey, I don't actually have to finish the entire build this episode, and I definitely won't. Uh, my hope is that I can finish this half, but this other half, that's that's gonna be a whole new mess of stuff to do. But anyway, let's hop in and quickly see what's happened. So, um, brand new, like, I don't know what to call this, I guess curve in the path. Um, I think it does a, it, it makes the exhibit shape way more interesting in my opinion. It kind of adds a bit more depth to it, um, as well as just fixing that problem of a pathway that's way too long with nothing happening, uh, which I always think is a big problem in zoos. Uh, like when I'm building them like this, there needs to be places where you can't see everything down one long stretch because that kind of I don't know. It's just very boring to look at, and yeah. So anyway, I've kind of fixed that problem. Also, finally covering up the tunnel with a rock wall because, well, I think that just looks way nicer. Um, also, because of how I kind of built this, I couldn't put the elevated like viewing area, like tower thing here. So instead, I am going to put it over here in this area. And if I can quickly find a way to hop up to the to the top, did I leave any easy? Whoops, lag. Uh, easy ways up there? I don't really know. Let me see. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's easy enough. All right, and then we can just hop up here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Um, yeah, so I did kind of keep the idea of the pathway being above the tunnel. I just decided to kind of change up the ergonomics of it a bit. Um, but yeah, there should be a viewing tower over here, and I think this will be a nice spot for it because I kind of want to... I don't know, I want to change up a bit more of the exhibit layout, make it a bit less of a rectangle and a bit more of an interesting shape to kind of, I don't know, bring a bit more life into it. I did also change up this area, and I actually, actually really like this new way of getting the pathway to come up here, especially once we bring the terrain back in. I think it's going to look a lot more natural, a bit more interesting, and less kind of jagged like it used to. 
So yeah, hopefully, hopefully that'll be kind of nice. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. But yeah, overall, I'm I'm kind of kind of liking where this is heading. Um, some things I will say though that are probably gonna need to change pretty soon. One, uh, the lake here. We're gonna have to remove all of this. Uh, mostly because it's kind of in the way of what I'm thinking is gonna happen now. Although I could just leave it here, build um, another like terrain blocking feature here, and kind of do that. But at the same time, I kind of am thinking we're gonna bring the lake o more over towards here instead and kind of fill this area in. Uh, which I guess was actually intended to also be a water area because that was for the Gallimimus, if I remember correctly. There may even have been water in there at one point, and I just forgot. Um, and then this whole area has got to get reworked, uh, including and the lag. And I think there's something up with the, the shaders plus render distance or something. I don't know what's causing it. I'll fix it later. Um, but this area over here is also going to need a fair amount of work, I think. Uh, including kind of just getting rid of this building idea here. I still want a building, but we're gonna move it around, I think. Also because I need, I think, a pathway somewhere around here to lead us into what will become the Allosaurus exhibit. So we kind of need to work on this pathway a bit more and develop it a bit. However, I also want to kind of make a connection between the Allosaurus and the rest of the park. So we'll have to figure out that as well. So that way it's not just like you have to walk down this really long pathway just to get to see one animal. So hopefully that'll be the case. Um, fact, if we let the lag quickly go away, um, and we run back over here, I am thinking, uh, mostly because I, I just like this idea now, and of course, I love building bridges. Bridges are amazing, and I'm actually really sad I haven't really been able to implement that many bridges in this park. Uh, we have like the Sarko bridges, and that's that's about it. We don't really have many in this world, but I would love to start bringing some sort of bridge or walkway over here. In fact, I'm even considering connecting it up with this one, but oh wait, if I do that though, there's the Brachiosaurus can't get over here. So we won't do that. Um, oh, but oh, it even perfectly lines up with the pathway, but kind of continuing something around here. Um, Maybe the bridge will go like this direction or something and we can start walking across that side of the falls. We'll see what happens, but I think that I think there's a lot of cool ideas here that are really just gonna, I don't know, make this exhibit way more interesting and kind of make it pop more. And is that a Diplodocus that's actually not sleeping? <gasps> Would you look at that? Uh, that ain't that a rare sight these days. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, Aside from just kind of getting the back section of the exhibit done next episode, or starting to work on it at least, I really want to start working on the falls over here because I think now they're going to be, I don't know, much more visible. And I really like that uh, now that I'm thinking of that bridge idea over here somewhere. Having the waterfalls be a much bigger thing, I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, I don't know if we'll still do the two-tiered waterfall system or if I'm just going to raise this waterfall up to be at that height. We'll see what happens with it. Uh, it'll kind of just depend how things start to fold out. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I do love that the exhibit is just getting this much more interesting feel to it. Um, I am going to be tearing out most of the pathway around here, again with the building and just kind of reworking it and stuff. I kind of want to, to bring the river system out a bit more with everything. I know I'm just talking a lot and I don't, it's more just because I am like, I've been working on this a lot and I'm kind of burnt out on ideas for uh, the last day or so. Not like, well, after a day or two of working on it, I kind of just need a break, step away from the project, work on something else so, so that I can come back uh, for the next episode and hopefully get a bit more done. But I think this is just, I think this is gonna be really cool. I have cool ideas for the shelter. Uh, again, because I'm starting to pull more from like giraffe and uh, elephant exhibits. At least with giraffes, they don't really have like big shelter buildings. They have like these big shade structures, and I think we can do something like that over here. I think that might be cool. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really think I have much else to say, and I'm kind of wanting to end the episode here. So I guess let me know what you guys think of the bit we the bits we have done to kind of remake this exhibit, make it look more interesting. Let me know what you guys think we should add. Uh, if you have any ideas for builds we should add, for decorations that should be added here, uh, for what we can do with the other side of the exhibit, or any other cool ideas you have for this build, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. And yeah, I think that's all I have for today. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed. And until next time, guys, see ya.